que ya está grabando. I'm Etienne Chalin, author of the book The History of the Universe and the Psychic War of End Times. I've been in business for 10 years to help light workers awaken their psychic and spiritual powers to do their role to assist in the ascension process of our planet. This video and the pictures I will share will be especially interesting for energy workers, healers, and psychics. If you're not psychic or clairvoyant but have a friend who is, send him this video and ask for his opinion. In the USA, we're currently seeing a nasty election takeover, combined with total media information control and constantly increasing online censorship. You probably know that Biden can only steal the election if they enforce total information control. On top of that, many people are worried about artificial intelligence taking more and more space in our society, with nanobots everywhere, and microchips starting to be transplanted into humans. Adding to that, many are concerned and fed up with the coronavirus situation. The vaccination agenda that was planned long before the virus, with Bill Gates publicly claiming to use vaccines to control the world's population. There are also the lockdowns that, if prolonged enough, would cause all small businesses to close, leaving the owners in massive debts and leaving only big corporations to take everything for pennies. Many are feeling that the new world order is winning and that all of the above are pieces of a calculated plan coming together, and that they could be checkmated at any moment. Many are feeling an impending doom and that we are reaching a breaking point. This video is not about politics. But if you believe that either Biden or Hillary is better than Trump, then none of what I'm going to share is going to make sense to you. So you're better to just skip this video and move on with your happy life, I'm only talking about US elections because that's a problem that many people recognize and are concerned about, and because the attacks on light workers greatly intensified since the election takeover. If the topics I just shared concern you, then this video will contain a lot of dense information, but it will be very worth your time. I'll try to keep it as concise and precise as possible. I have a Facebook group called P2P Kinesi Kinesiology Readings where a whole community of people use muscle testing to validate the accuracy of information. It takes a bit of practice and it's a total game changer, especially with the sea of disinformation and PSYOP surrounding us. You can measure energies like this. Hold your fingers like this. Say the Earth's population is at least 1 billion, 2 billion, 3 billion, 4 billion. 3 billion, 0 0.1, 2, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, about 3.5 billion. We'll get back to that later. Accuracy of this number, 98.4% as of November 2020. Distortion, 2.6%. Good enough. People always ask whether muscle testing is accurate and whether there is distortion. Yes, there is often distortion, and yes, you can detect and measure the distortion. If you measure low distortion, then the result is generally reliable. Now, I asked the community to measure the accuracy of two statements. First, Trump will win the elections as expected if and only if we do a crazy trip around the world to recover some artifacts of power. Everybody measured 92 to 95% accuracy. Second, my chances of physical survival if we don't do this trip? Everybody measured 0 to 3%. This is journey to the West all over again, but this time the situation is a lot more serious. We're leaving for a journey to the world. We got no other option. We just need to figure out the details. I thought, why not do a fundraising campaign and film the whole thing? Now, nobody is aware of what's going on. Normally, I'm always the first to warn about threats. Almost nobody listens and people start talking about it when I stop talking about it. And then it's too late to act anyway. This time, I pray God that the right people will listen while it is time to act. I pray God that the right people will listen before it's too late. Before I explain about our project and our plan, 
you need to understand the situation and I will try to do it as concise as possible. Earth is being assaulted by forces beyond this universe and beyond the multiverse, from the Ultraverse. Their goal is to collapse the multiverse to reset it and take complete control of it from the point of origin. To do so, they need relics of power from the highest of the universes and from the lowest of the universes, to do a full collapse from the highest to the lowest. Those relics of low universe they seek are here on Earth. If Earth falls, the whole universe will collapse and many universes have fallen before us. Please do the muscle test throughout this video. Your body feels stronger when looking at truth and weaker when looking at lies or inaccurate information. Truth has an undeniable frequency to it and that frequency opens doors. Your fingers should get weaker if something I say is inaccurate. You might want to rewind the last part I said about the assault on Earth. Everything I said about the coronavirus back in January and February came to be. In Wuhan, China, 46.7% of the population is dead. You can validate with muscle testing. Then, after lightworkers, healers and many groups of extraterrestrials did a lot of work to stop the virus, it transmuted into a form that is more virulent but much de less deadly, and most of the world population got infected as expected. The only part of my predictions that hasn't occurred yet is a big wave of death due to black portals that will be wrongly credited to the virus. Officially, the world's population is 7.8 billion people, but if we muscle test, we got 4.5 billion last year. The numbers are artificially inflated around the world. In the USA, to push the narrative that we are too many people on this planet, and especially in China, because they can't be less than India. Now, I'm measuring only 3.5 billion? The world's population reduced by 1.03 billion people in 2020, and we're not in December yet. If you want to know more about this, watch the other video about the reduction of world population and its causes. The war hasn't even started and we already lost 22.9% of our population. I measure 99.94% accuracy on the information so far, but please measure it yourself. I pay very special attention to the accuracy of the details. Now, let's talk about me. I'm from Quebec, Canada, and I've been traveling and living around the world for the past 15 years. Last year, I launched the God and Money Masterclass, which was by far the, my most successful product so far. It's about connecting to God, listening to what God asks of you, and trusting that the money will show up. It's also about no longer letting money or the lack of money dictate your decisions. The journey to the world is really a practical application of the principles of the God and Money Masterclass. I was teaching the God and Money Masterclass, released half of the training, and people were seeing lots of miracles happen. Then chaos hit in February at an unprecedented scale. I moved back to, from Thailand to Playa del Carmen in Mexico in March, and we've been under constant attacks for the past eight months by many different groups. The house we're in was made available to us by a group of witches that wanted my daughter. Some rich people had just moved in. The sorcerers teleported inside the house and teleported and dumped them in a garbage bin elsewhere in the world. They did the same with at least three other houses around here that they claimed for themselves. That witch has thousands of witches and sor sorcerers working for her around the world. Bigger threats came around here and those witches eventually turned on her side. There has been many different groups and agents trying to neutralize us, infiltrate our energies, kidnap my daughter and kill us, and do everything possible to prevent me from working. I've been unable to work for the past 8 months, which gave the invaders the space to work on their master plan. After 8 months of constant attacks from all sides, I'm just starting to see where all this is coming from and how the dots connect together. For months, Everywhere we went, there were humans and non-humans following us. 
there are way too many non-humans in Playa. Many of them can shapeshift and teleport exactly like in the old Chinese stories, such as the Monkey King or the Eight Immortals. They appear at the supermarket whenever we go there. Me and my daughter tracked one of those teleporting shapeshifters for 5 minutes at the supermarket. He'd slide between planes and disappear to reappear as a woman, and slide again to show up as a man. Very interesting to psychically observe, as I had never seen that pattern before. We finally found him and got a clean picture. You don't need to be a psychic to know that something is wrong and creepy with this picture. We've met many dozens of those shapeshifters. My daughter is also at the top of the Mexican Cardinal's most wanted list. Once we realize that there is a million dollar bounty under her head, because of all the bounty hunters we were seeing, her abilities popped open big times. We also met creatures small like a dot that eat humans. Some of them are friendly and are helping us. These creatures can also teleport and shapeshift. Locals call them chupacabras. Of the people attacking us, our new friends ate 215 humans and 518 non-humans so far, because they're hungry little bastards. First, they suck up the essence, then they eat the body. There is no reincarnation after the soul is eaten. There is also this death creature that moved into a house around here. My daughter sees them all very clearly. She described the creature as having black holes instead of the eyes, two big holes instead of the nose, and a large crack from ear to ear instead of the mouth. Very creepy. Then we saw the movie The Witches at the cinema. It's exactly their powerful leader. Everything in that movie is real, except for the eyes and nose that they got wrong. She killed all of her winchmen to do the job herself. We killed her with a big psychic hammer, which was damn powerful. She did kill me in a few timelines. As of recording this, there are still eight of those witches around her house doing rituals in the area at sunrise every morning to corrupt the area and stop us. We took pictures. We got two for one in this picture. The red one is the most dangerous. We crossed a man wearing sunglasses at 7 a.m. because he doesn't have eyes. Then there is this woman doing yoga in the middle of the park and opening a portal to hell every morning. More witches are moving here as I'm recording this. I give them three weeks maximum. Two days ago, I went to pick up my daughter after school activity. While waiting for the kids to come out, this man walked next to me and tried planting an energetic knife in my throat. Then his wife in red dress arrived. It made sense. She is yet another witch and he's a vampire. This is the first vampire I've ever seen and it definitely won't be the last. Right after, as we arrived at the shopping mall, a man walked towards his motorbike exactly when we arrived. He looked like in between a bounty hunter in Star Wars on a remote planet and a mage in Harry Potter working for the ministry who filled half of the prisons. Big strong body with weird face, definitely not human, and big paddings on the legs and arms. He's actually wearing about 30 different exotic weapons, waiting for us in the forest by the road towards home, of course. With the new vampire and bounty hunter we met, we got very massive attacks the whole night and day, and the house was no longer safe and we had to leave the house into a hotel for a week. We packed everything, and that's serving as a test run for the travels. The energy in downtown Playa del Carmen degenerated a whole lot since last time I came here, and it's not safe at the hotel either. Only 10.8% of the human population in Playa is gone, but 15.2% of the people downtown are non-humans. I could go on and on about the attacks and what's been going on around here, but my point is, those attacks are organized by very powerful forces far beyond this universe, and we've been trained very well in handling those attacks. We're holding fine, but unless we do this journey to the world, 
things won't be improving anytime soon. One of those days, they'll get us. They will also kill Trump and anyone standing in their way or turn them into animals and shapeshift into a copy of them, taking their memories with it. Like this guy Ben Shapino. What's wrong with this picture? Energetic infection? No. Non-human? Yes. That's a fake taking Ben's place. Talking of which, 4.2% of the world's population has been replaced with fakes. There are other threats we face. They are feeding from the population of the whole universe. The healthy food you eat is only making them stronger. Watch the video Nutrition Guide to Stop Food Vampirism for more details. Furthermore, they are energetically infecting the whole planet to alter their perception of reality. They implant 10D or even 25D chips on the back of the neck of many people to control them. They also corrupted the rays of creation and you should be aware of the emerald green energy and especially diamond energies. This corruption comes from beyond this universe and is not something we can solve here. Most of the population, including most light workers, are already severely infected. We cannot count on them. Adding to that, reality is heavily fragmenting into portals everywhere. Why? Because of time travel wars, there are many millions of parallel timelines and Earth is colliding with other, other versions of Earth, fusing three planets at a time. Some of those timelines are good and some are literally hell. This portal's fragmentation will cause many people to die or disappear in a few months. 80% of the population lost 99.6% of their essence and power of creation and this portal's fragmentation is 65% responsible for it. We're being very careful about those portals, but nobody else knows how to navigate them. At the fusion points between realities, it creates energetic lava that burns your energy and is very dangerous. This lava is starting to show up everywhere. This portal's fragmentation and energetic lava are bar barely getting started and will be getting worse. Time is looping and many timelines are unfolding in parallel. I've seen the destruction of Earth in the most horrible ways. I've seen myself killed in over a hundred ways. I've seen planets sink into black holes as the fabric of the universe rips apart. This is serious and now is the time to place your pawns in the game. In a few months it will be too late. Complacency will not be rewarded. You may think that I'm completely crazy. Most people think that and prefer to stay in the comfort of their little reality while they can. But what if I'm right? Truth has an undeniable frequency to it. Do the muscle test. Forget about what you think of all this. Does your body feel strong or weak? If there wasn't a ring of truth to this, you probably wouldn't have listened all the way here. Here's something else I want to show you. My daughter has very good internal GPS to find stuff. She brought us into a small dirt road in Playa del Carmen when it was raining. After driving 15 minutes, we saw vultures at the entrance of a big portal. And fresh bones laid on the road. Many people looked at those creepy pictures. There are definitely human bones and animal bones but it appears to be animals from another planet or something. We later looked at some creatures hiding in the forest by the highway, which was a family of chupacabras. Then a truck passed by containing human remains and living human food. She also brought us to another area with a destroyed house in a strange land. There is an active portal here and a guardian interrupted us while looking at it offering his services to help clean the land, which, thinking of it, could have been an indirect threat. After the man left, he warned someone or something and we had 30 seconds to leave. We came back later and they placed energetic traps and bombs to protect the entrance. What's going on here? 
They're building up an army of creatures within a hidden network of portals, and they're feeding them with trucks of humans who are declared dead of the coronavirus. This is happening in many countries around the world, not just in Mexico. Of course, this sounds totally crazy, but we got pictures of fresh human bones and many other pictures to support what I'm saying. This is not looking good. Few people see this kind of stuff and live to tell the tale. Are you starting to get a little bit scared? Good. I would not be sharing all of this if we didn't have a plan. Accuracy check so far and measuring 99.9986%, but please measure it yourself. Please take the time to read this page from the book Bhagavad Gita. You can put the video on pause to read it. So who am I to know all this? You're not your physical body. You're a living spirit of God that is borrowing this physical vessel for a while. Your spirit goes from incarnation to incarnation and your powers are in your spirit that carries DNA chains from incarnation to incarnation along with soul memories. You just forget who you are for a while once you enter the womb. But sooner or later you recover from amnesia. In other incarnations I was known as Lord Hanuman, Su Wukong or the Monkey King who went on the journey to the West. This is the number one favorite story in China. In the past 10 years there has been at least one new Monkey King movie coming out every single year. In other incarnations I also went to other journeys. There was the journey to the West to fetch the scriptures in India, the journey to the North at the sacred Wudang Mountains in China where I went back two years ago, the journey to the South and the journey to the East that I haven't seen translated from Chinese yet. And now here's the journey to the world. Before that I was the first commander of the Orion Federation and we evacuated to Earth 12,500 years ago when our core planet got destroyed by the Dracos. Our memories were sealed 6,000 years ago when the ancient civilizations got destroyed again. We needed to hide to protect ourselves until the time was right. The Monkey King incarnation was interesting because I had access to my powers but not my memories. I was sort of a drunken Jedi. In the Chinese legends of the Monkey King and of the Eight Immortals, they could never remember who they were or where they came from. That's because the memories were sealed up until now. It has been coming back gradually over the past five or eight years. I'm very strong at psychic readings. I can look at your energy field from a picture and measure exactly your strengths and weaknesses. All the cracks show up in your energy field. I've been offering soul alignment readings for years, but with the large-scale energetic infections, all I could say right now is how infected you are, which isn't very useful. With all the energetic chaos, I have a dozen orders of energy readings that I haven't been able to deliver yet. I'm also strong at working with crystals. I attune crystals into extremely high frequencies for clients, which amplifies their healing powers by a thousand times. I just need a picture of your crystals, but right now those invaders infiltrate and corrupt crystals, and my attunements only amplifies their corruption. All infected crystals across the universe have been shut down, and only some clean ones are being reactivated. I do direct healing and coaching with clients who are serious about stepping up into their God-given spiritual powers. But since last year I haven't been able to do any coaching at all because of all the craziness going on. I can freeze energies, turn other demigods into ice, but those invaders operate at a much higher level and are not vulnerable to this freeze. I sell power liminal audios that are semi-silent audios containing powerful healing energies that you can play on loop day and night, but Again, the invaders are feeding from this and infiltrate and corrupt the audios. The energetic infection feels like a stain of ink that slowly spread in your arm or head and that you can't move or take out. I can safely claim to be the number one healer in the world in terms of energetic self-defense. Many other healers have no clue what I'm talking about to begin with. 
but these energetic infections just don't mess with it. You're better to avoid it altogether and avoid getting infected. It's very hard to remove. Don't try to play with or transmute that energy. If you're infected, eating lots of candies is actually, actually the most effective method. See the video about diet. I'm great at looking at the bigger picture, identifying threats and coordinate defenses in the higher realm and higher dimensions. However, this is beyond my abilities. We're facing the most powerful forces of the Ultraverse down here on our little planet. That's where my daughter, Vera Sofia, comes in. She's nine years old. She's one of the ten empresses of the pl planet of Andromedia. She doesn't have her memories yet, but her vision is much clearer and more precise than mine. I'm good at seeing the big picture, but I can't differentiate left from right if I need to find something. She's good at seeing in details what's happening around us. She can describe in details the people who are attacking us, what they look like, how they're dressed, what they're doing and planning. We see all the attacks coming from a mile away and we're conveniently often away when they attack the strongest. She also has a very good internal GPS to find stuff. She brought us to the portal with the human bones, to the other portal at the destroyed house and we already found some of the stones that we need to recover. She detected the relics of power in Italy, Australia and Canada, plus stones we must recover here in Playa and then Germany, Hong Kong and Australia. I cannot find those objects, but she can. My job is to protect her. My style is to block attacks and then either transmute or disintegrate the attackers. She's more vulnerable and her style is to dodge all the blows and let them waste their energy. Together, we're doing a good team. Her GPS navigation system also works to navigate through portals. The other day, we went to eat at a shopping mall because it was the only place in the whole city that wasn't infected. When we got there, there were 30 non-humans waiting for us at the mall. She scanned, 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 then said, to drive around the block and come in through the other side. We passed through a portal, shifted timeline, and there were only three agents that were not a threat. We ate dinner, then the mall became very unstable and we had to run outside before the whole place collapsed. Sneaking through that portal caused major timeline instability that caused a huge energetic explosion. That's our navigator in action. As for my girlfriend, we highly suspect that she will be a very important key in this war, but that key is still locked inside and we don't know what she's hiding. She even forgot why she hid it so damn well. It will re reveal itself when the time comes. She had a house in Cancun, but when she came back from Canada to Mexico, her house had been stolen due to coordinated attacks. Very curiously, we just ate at a restaurant where the waiter was aggressively insisting on a 15% tip. We're testing that this is the exact same person who stole her house. Curious. About those relics of power, we're the only ones who can recover them. If we do not recover them now, they will find them in 2022 and things will get very bad. We still don't know what these relics and objects are nor what they really do, but we have to get them now. This job cannot be done psychically. It needs to be done physically on the ground. They're kind of hoping we'd go and collect those for them. They would then try to steal them from us. It's boringly predictable. It's okay, we'll be ready. Many universes have fallen before us and this war is critical for the balance of the multiverse and the ultraverse. More than half of all the guardians of the multiverse came here to assist us in this war, many of whom are from universes that were destroyed. We've got plenty of support from the higher realms, but this job on the ground only the three of us can do it, and for that reason we cannot fail. Here's my plan. We'll raise money to cover travel costs, we'll buy a GoPro camera, and we'll film the whole thing in 4K. For everyone who donates towards this trip, you'll be able to follow our travel day by day. We're aiming at 20, picture, 20 minutes to an hour of videos per day, 
well, where we'll share what's happening and all of our discoveries and advice to deal with everything going on. You can follow us live in our journey to the world. Now you might be thinking, aren't we shooting ourselves in the foot by putting all of our plans wide in the open? Look, they're already attacking us with everything they got. They can't do any more than that. Well, maybe they can, but anyway. They can only teleport if nobody is watching. They create a gap of attention. Your vision gets blurry and then they slide in. If we're filming and you're watching, it greatly reduces their powers. This will give us a huge advantage. Furthermore, the portal's fragmentation is a big problem and large buildings are energetically much more stable. We cannot stay in cheap guest houses. We need to stay in large and stable hotel buildings, ideally with a swimming pool to cleanse and stabilize the energy. We just need a budget for that. If we have hundreds or thousands of people watching, this will also greatly stabilize our reality and maybe reduce portal fragmentation by 60-70%. to 70%. All of this is completely counterintuitive, but it actually makes sense. Doing it publicly is the safest option. And I think that many will find this very indicating and entertaining. The 4K footage might be useful later on. We just do what we feel is right and everything will make sense later on. So here's a plan. We'll go and recover those artifacts around the world. The movie Xico's Path, currently in cinema, is another sign that we must go. They have to bring three stones and the messenger in order to stop those who are threatening the mountain. It's something like that. The relics are related to the rays of creation. We'll know more later. There are also st small stones to recover that will be needed to use those artifacts properly. I already have some pretty unique stones that I'm sure you've never seen before. These stones are fragments of a destroyed Orion planet that we brought with us 12,500 years ago when we evacuated. These stones are alive and sacred. I normally don't ever show them in public or in camera, but I am making an exception just for today. I have a few sets of, the, of stones like this available for sale, but the stones must choose their owners. Your intent must be pure and you must be ready to receive a crazy amount of energy. Several agents already tried to acquire some, but the stones refused. If this calls to you, message me directly, it's a serious investment. I also have these green, green stones from Sirius B. These, they accumulate light in the day and glow in the dark. Very good at balancing energies, integrating and releasing. I sell macrame and necklace with those stones. It looks amazing in the dark. We also polished one and cast it in silver to see what it looks like inside. We've been many people trying to identify those stones. Nobody has been able to identify it. It only brought more questions. All that we know is that it isn't from Earth and it highly resonates with Sirius B. I got some of these for sale, either raw or various si of various sizes, raw on macrame necklace or polished on silver necklace. These stones have been resisting surprisingly well to energetic infections. I also got these cute little stones. These come from Lemuria, also not from Earth. Very powerful and clean energy. We have just a few of those that can be sold to specific people along with some Orion stones, but the stones must choose their owners. Buying those stones means that you become their guardian. How did I find all those stones? Let's just say that the stones found their way to me. As for the stones we must now collect, we already found two stones in Playa del Carmen. There are more to collect in Germany, Hong Kong and Australia. I'm not exactly sure what these fragments are, but we'll know more later on. We got our portal navigator to lead the way.
Here's another nice piece that I got. This is 100% pure silver ring. I originally purchased it to open portals and try teleportation, but never got it to work. We went back to the large portal with human bones and I closed the portal. This was the third oldest portal on earth. Actually, I transferred the portal into the silver ring. I'm still unsure about what this ring can do, but it will be useful later. Here's our travel plan. We'll leave around December 12th, giving us little time to prepare. This travel must be done before the new US election president takes office. Going straight to Italy would be energetically brutal, and there would be several days where we couldn't do anything. We'll first go to Germany to recover some stones and maybe find a plant that we'll need. Then we'll head over to Italy to recover the first relic and finally eat some decent cakes and pizza. Yay! Then we'll head over to Hong Kong to find more stones and split the long road towards Australia. Finally, we'll head to Australia to recover the second relic and some more stones. There's a third relic that we'll recover in Canada later on. We'll need to pay for travel logistics for three people and get the passports in order. We're in Mexico. We'll need clothes for colder weather for my girlfriend and daughter. We'll need a GoPro camera and perhaps also a drone. We'll need to get big hotels for the three of us for the duration of the trip and there will be a lot of unexpected expenses. I also need to pay a team to do the video editing and make the footages available for you. Adding to that, I haven't been able to work for 8 months. My plan when arriving in Mexico was to buy a house, but that has to wait. Finally, this is just the beginning of the war. On December 21st, the war will either last 4 years, 7 years or 20,000 years. The 4 year timeline is not ideal. Neither is the 20,000 year timeline. We're aiming for the 7 year war timeline. How can I focus on doing the hard work that needs to be done if I constantly need to look out for money? I'll need a budget to be able to more effectively focus on protecting our planet and universe. We already lost 22.9% of the population. At the end of this 7 year war, we'll have lost about 45% of the world's population. All the guardians have been under constant attacks and have been struggling for money for so many years. Those who are able to face this challenge must be given the means to focus on their duty. There isn't much you can do, but what you can do is to support us in our journey to the world. The message I'm getting is that this isn't a trip to do on a showstring. Money must not dictate how we fly and where we stay. We do what must be done and God will open the way. If I survive, the US election fraud is exposed and Trump remains in office, then it will give us a chance. I can scan the timelines to see where all this is leading and Sofia can scan the environment to see and find what we need to see. I'm actually measuring 0% chance of failure and 99.94% probability that Trump will remain in office with 0.06% probability of being dead. But only if we do this journey to the world. Actually, here's something you can do. Those vampires of the old travelers have an agile talent. They feed from what you eat. Your diet is your best weapon against them. Sugar kills them. Sugar-based coke is great. We've been conditioned to think that sugar is bad because they've been planning this for a long time. Raw honey and things like that are too healthy and feeds them. But white sugar and chocolate, the kind that make your teeth rot? That's perfect. This is completely counterintuitive. But many people confirmed it. They eat healthy and feel like shit. They eat crap and feel so much better. Just make sure to avoid high fructose corn syrup, that's too poison. Bad food is good, but very bad food is bad. McDonald's is too poison, and they greatly increased the portion of human meat in their burgers since the beginning of the pandemic. But Burger King works. Our body takes less than 0.1% of the poison. They drain everything. 
I haven't been able to eat anything else for breakfast than candies for a whole week. At the same time, my body gets 92% of the nutrients it needs energetically. Some people can live without food for months, but we need to give them crap to feed from or they'll eat me. Like anything, test with your own body, preferably with muscle testing. Those vampires drain 70% to 99.999% of the food depending on how they currently affect you. And severe energetic infections can have strong reactions at first as you purge the infections. If you're listening to this, you're probably in those that they are targeting more directly. You know what kills them even more? Capricious treats that you normally wouldn't allow yourself. Kindle Surprise, or even better, Ferrero Rocher, my favorite. One box of Ferrero can kill 500 of them. Two boxes can kill 1,000. Six boxes of 16 killed 2 million of them and destroyed one of their ships in the frenzy of portals. Plus, if you watch a horror movie, they feel it 500 million times more than you do. They also suck up all the caffeine from you. I can drink three big cups of coffee without feeling any effect. Last night, I took a large vanilla, vanilla cappuccino at the 7-Eleven with plenty of caffeine and sugar. They absolutely hated it. Great for us. Triple latte pumpkin frappe at Starbucks? That's got high fructose corn syrup in it. That's bad, bad. You need to learn to differentiate between food that is good, 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 bad, and bad, bad. Here's a plan for the day. Start the day with three cups of coffee and candies. Get some fast food or instant noodles for lunch. Buy several boxes of Ferrero Rashi or your favorite candies. Get maki sushis with seaweed and wasabi for dinner. And then watch a horror movie at the cinema with a big popcorn and coke. This will kill a whole bunch of them. See how you feel after that. We already have a few thousand people following my sugar diet and the message has already spread to other planets and this is affecting the whole universe. Things might get better after this trip, but eating lots of sugar may be necessary for the next seven years until this war is over. See the video about food diet for more details. So. That's the project. How do you feel about it? Do you want to follow our adventures? Do you want to contribute to our cause? Do the muscle test should you donate some funds? Is there any distortion internal or external? You should get a clean no. Is the answer accurate? You should get a clean yes. If yes, then how much should you donate? At least $10. or more. You might ask, what's in it for you? We're all selfish in some way. First, on my website, I'm offering the remote cell reprogramming service, which is an automatic remote healing technology to neutralize communication interference between cells to increase cell communication and regeneration. There are Also technologies to reduce EMF from electronic devices around you and I'll be launching a service to turn your skin into an EMF shield. These technologies will be directed towards everybody donating to this project, which will help strengthen your health. Second, following our travels will will create a stronger collective energy. This will protect you more than it will help us, so it will be a win-win. Third. All of those guardians from the multiverse will be working to stabilize and strengthen our collective energy. So by joining this collective energy, you'll get their support and protection at the same time. Fourth, the more you donate, the more it creates an exchange of energy and the more you contribute and connect yourself into this collective energy. It creates a circulation and what goes around comes around. What you give financially will come back energetically. For some of you, that might shift the difference between life and death. Or for some people around you. We lost 22.9% of the population already. I have several entrepreneur friends 
with mailing lists that could provide exposure, but most of them will be too concerned about what their clients think to share such a controversial message. The best option is sharing from person to person. Who can you share this video with? Who do you know who cares about the outcome of the election takeover? Who do you know who understands anything at all of the spiritual war that has been unfolding for many years? Whether or not you choose to donate, please share this video with at least two or three people. That's just as valuable as the money itself. Or perhaps you can introduce me to be interviewed on a platform that has at least 250 viewers per video. I'll create a Facebook page called Journey to the World where I will post all the pictures and videos and it will be on YouTube. I'll just share it all openly. Make sure to join and follow the Facebook page. Furthermore, make sure to join my mailing list to be notified of updates. The links are at the bottom of this video. Lightworkers have been under heavy attacks for so many years. My alchemy teacher, who opened my abilities, Jacques Tombazian, was killed in 2015 by the Dracos. Kevin Trudeau was put in jail for 10 years by the secret societies. I've lost other friends and I've been betrayed. Some lost their soul, some became totally incapacitated, some got completely infected, some got killed, some got turned into animals and some got replaced with fakes. Those attacks have only been getting worse. We've recently lost several members of our community due to energetic corruptions. Here's my message to all these invaders, witches, vampires, corrupt agents and demons who are seeing this, whether human or non-human. Light workers are just getting fed up. We've really lost patience. This planet is the kingdom of God and nobody shall corrupt its essence. Get out of the way of ascension or you will be destroyed. I promise. Half of the guardians of the multiverse are here to back up this promise. I am Hanuman, Commander-in-Chief of the Orion Federation. I am Bara Sophia, one of the Empresses of the Andromedian Federation. I am Irlanda. I am uh, her mother. Here's what we'll do. We'll recover these artifacts and then we'll come for you. If the war is going to last seven years, then we might as well enjoy the ride. Before closing, here's some good news. Since I unmasked the threat, there has been many major blows and counterattacks. In the past few weeks, the forces of the UL Travers lost 76.4% of their powers. They're still very dangerous, but that's enough to sh tilt the balance in at least 3 billion universes and give these universes some space to move into upwards momentum. This war isn't just about Earth. Everybody is concerned across the universe and across the multiverse. Also, we partially restored the black cubes of Saturn that were created by the ancient builder's race to prevent the corruption of the rays of creation, but the cubes had been hijacked and corrupted anyway. This restoration essentially killed the coronavirus. A few days ago, the coronavirus still existed in 0.4% of timelines, but now it is completely gone from all timelines. Gone, end of story. Unfortunately, we couldn't fix the corruption of the rays of creation because this corruption comes from other universes. Everything fueled by those corrupted rays cannot be disintegrated because these are genuine ascension codes. It is just that the codes got hijacked. You can't destroy the ascension codes. You need to fix the hacks. Accuracy check on this whole video. I'm measuring 99.99934% accuracy. But as always, measure it yourself. If you have any doubts, ask God to send you signs and observe around you. The truth shall set you free. Make sure to sign up for notifications on my website. Make sure to follow my Facebook page and we'll be on the road soon. See you later. Sign off.